What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode 17 of the FIFA 22 Creative Club Career Mode with Zilla FC. And we are in the Champions League. In case you guys didn't notice in the last episode, or in case you haven't watched the last episode, you guys should definitely go check this out. And if you do like this series, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll be jumping into this match straight up. There's really nothing else to talk about other than we have to win it. Oh, this was the second team. So. This is the team we're going to be using as usual, and I'll talk to you guys after the match. You know, when the draw for the group stage was made, I think most fans had their eye on this match. Two of the very best in Europe, and it has pride of place on the fixture list. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It is CSKA Moscow against the Blades. Well, Derek, these were very good in their opening games. Both look to be in top form. This should be a great game today. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. No possibilities in the centre. Can he find the net? And it's come off the keeper. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Will it? Oh, they've lost it. Wonderful chance! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great... Certainly options available as far as the Blades are concerned. And what a close shave it was! Kamavinga. Zaid. Greenwood. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And now can he keep calm? Still a chance. Untidy in possession. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Can he do it to take the lead? Great defending here. And the keeper nowhere to be found. Not that he's complaining. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. Viol. And a tidy ball. Inside he goes. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? Greenwood. Excellent vision. And now waiting to pounce. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made... Obliakov. Biol. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Well, these fans have had to be so sharp today. Well, that was a good save. And it's kept them in it. But they have to do more going forward. Can he find the net? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. And he clears the danger. Oh, he's gone for goal! Well, it wasn't quite... Could be troublesome. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Not really the ideal clearance. A oh, terrific pass. Making sure nothing came of it. Oh, surely! Well, it's the late show, and they are level again. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Be a winner. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. A 
Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. And that is that. All right, Greenwood, what was that? What was that, Greenwood? Like, that was the best opportunity, and this guy just completely fucked it up. <sighs> okay, so... We were able to draw against Siska Moscow and I'm really not happy about that result because we were like we had so many chances we were supposed to win this match but it just kept hitting the bar, it kept going wide, the keeper kept saving them and well they were able to get their goal in the uh, at the end of the match and well, we drew it. Alright so the next match is against Everton we are going to be simming this match and well let's just hope we get the win because it's against Everton and it's their home and no we don't we actually draw the match Greenwood scores again and uh, I actually do not know what is going on. I actually don't know what's going on because we're supposed to be winning the same with the team we have with us right now. Manchester United is now just one point ahead of us. How is Zilla, how is Zilla still winning? Like, what the hell are you guys even talking about? Like, how? All right, so the next match in the UCL is against um, Boy Shambhaj and Gladbach. We're going to play that as well. So this one is same past the Bournemouth match. Well, they just came in from the championship. So I don't really expect us to lose that much and we actually win it 4-0. Right, we're still yet to use our away kit. I know there was a chance to use it in the previous um, Champions League match, but I just completely forgot to be honest. But for this match, I'm going to be putting Foden in here and Devo is going to be going to the bench for this match. And then Hudson Odor is going to come on and Zaid is going to stay as striker. Greenwood and Devo are going to come in later on. And I think I want to give Mendy a chance for this match. He can be the captain, so I think I'm going to give the captain's armband to... <sighs> I have no idea. Most likely Suho. Yeah, definitely Suho. You know, when the draw for the group stage was made, I think most fans had their eye on this match. Two of the very best in Europe, and it has pride of place on the fixture list. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. We're at the Borussia Park in the city of Mönchengladbach, not too far from Germany's border with the Netherlands. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It is Borussia Mönchengladbach against the Blades. Well, thanks, Derek. It's a real pleasure to be here. What a great atmosphere we've got inside the stadium. I'm really looking forward to this one. for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation. Scent of something positive. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Great pressure to win the ball back. And the keeper tied in to thwart it. Going short. Takes aim. And it's come off the keeper. Pulls it back. Can he do it? And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. Prospering, Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, they're dominating this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box and the finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this oh, game. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, a great chance it was here. A very timely interception. 
Arsenal showing excellent vision. There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time. Well, he's given us away. Oh, the threat is there. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. In the right place to cut out the pass. Chances on. Well, taking on the shot, but pulling it just a hair. And into the last 15 minutes of action. What can the Blades do from this position? And he's certainly in the mood for his second. Well, he's certainly looking a threat. He looks so sharp today. And he's through here. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take it. And so the referee... Actually, this match has ended. We weren't able to get a goal in the second half, but we got three in the first half that got our team over the line. So that's the second win in the Champions League. And that's really good. All right, so we have time for one more match. So we're going to skip through this Borussia Bajogabak match here because uh, it's in our stadium and I don't really think that we're going to lose it. So we're just going to play the Manchester United match. And... We win against Newcastle. I'm not expecting a loss against West Ham. We do win there. And we also win at Borussia Mönchengladbach. That's a very, very good month that we just had. Except for the match against Everton that we drew. So we're going to play this match against Manchester United. And that will be the end of the episode. Alright, so the only change this match is to Ho is coming in for Thodium. Because he's a bit low on stamina. As well as Greenwood. But there's really no one to um, substitute Greenwood with for that striker position right and I don't want to play Zaid up there this much another news is that we are rocking our away kit for the first time and I'd like to see how it will look at the Old Trafford Stadium a long way to go this season but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in the title race stay with us we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV live Well, it's a beautiful day for football. No complaints whatsoever on that front here at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester United against the Blades. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, there's no getting away from it. This is the man so many people have been focusing on ahead of this particular game. Playing against his old club, and I wonder what's going through his mind, Stuart. Well, he shouldn't approach this differently to any other game. He's just got to forget the crowd and go out and play. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. React to that in different ways. Well, Derek, I always found it difficult playing against my old clubs, especially Arsenal. I just felt so strange. It might well be the same for him today. Hopefully not. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Well, the post got in the way. I'm down. Grafenberg Mason Greenwood Zaid Patient build-up at the moment He must finish In it goes The goal for 1-0 And that changes the dynamic
Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Kamavinga. Showing excellent vision. But it looked as though he might be onto something. But it's... Well, they have it again. And options in the centre. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, here it is again. And I don't think it's good enough from the goalkeeper. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the... Greenwood. Very creative from the Blades. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, how tight was this? It ends up in the back of the net, but that was close to being put over the bar. Lucky or brilliant, I'm not sure. Fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Daniel Malen gives it a go. And it's in. A goal for Manchester United, who find themselves now level. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no... Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Manchester United facing Manchester City. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Firing it in. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Now can they counter clinically? A glorious chance. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Brian Grafenberg. This could be it. It's still alive. And so the final whistle here. Mm. That was a very, very tough match. That was the toughest match we've had this season, and it was a. I'm really happy. I can't even remember who scored. I know Greenwood scored for sure. I don't know who scored the second and third goal, but it was just really, a really tough match, and I'm actually proud that we actually came out with the win. All right. So with that, Liverpool actually went ahead of Manchester United, and they are now the ones that are one point behind me and that i really do not want it to be liverpool to be honest all of the top six teams are here okay besides spurs it's really 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 nice that we're the only ones in the league that are actually undefeated oh chelsea is still undefeated but they are racking draws like crazy anyway this is the end of the episode if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video peace